of the vlogmas. Um, I wanted to talk about um, the power, I guess, of goal adjacent achievements. In other words, Um, in other words, okay, so you set yourself a goal and you don't reach it. Um, and that is what happens most of the time. Most of the time with most people, they don't hit it the first time. It's rare. And that's why people are, you know, lauded and it's such an achievement if they actually reach a goal is because they don't, um, you know, they, they didn't, they didn't quit. They, they got to the end, blah, 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 whatever the narrative is. And the reality is that, um, and I'm sorry, it's, I think it's probably really loud. Um, <laughs> maybe I should only make videos at night. Anyway. Um, but you know, to have that sort of mindset is a really serious black and white thinking. It's it. Um, so maybe you didn't make the goal, but you started it. Or maybe you didn't make the goal, but you learned from how to you know, learn from what you did to actually make the goal the next time. Or maybe you realized it wasn't really for you and you um, then um, you know, took a right turn or something like that and, and have a new goal or maybe straight up you lost interest and you want something to do something else. And there's a tendency to sort of beat up on yourself and say, Oh my God, I never do anything. Look, I said I was going to do this and I didn't do it. Um, I'm the, I'm the type that I will almost never say I'm going to do this you know well what if I get hit by a car and I die and then I don't do it and oh my god um the way I grew up if that happened I would be you know pulled over the the coals for it and um I mean seriously like if there's something that I had no no way of controlling and no way of anticipating came up and stopped something from happening I would still be responsible for it. Um, and so trying to break that um, is difficult. <laughs> um, I'll give you an example. I decided I wanted to run a half marathon. Why? I have no idea. I think just because it was arbitrary and it was something to do. Um, and so I started by doing uh, Couch to 5K and I got to 5K. I was very slow, but I did it. And then winter came and I stopped. And the next year I started over at the beginning at Couch to 5K again and then finished that and started the, I think it's Couch to 10K. And um, again, ran out of time. And then the next year I was like, okay, I'm going to do some changes. I want to do this. This is a long-term thing. I've been trying to do this for years. I'm going to do it this year. And so I didn't follow the program. I skipped through lots of things and skipped and actually even skipped to the end. I got, I think that was the day I was supposed to run 10 miles. And I was like, first of all, it's getting pretty boring. Um, doing all that running because I'm not a fast runner. Um, and I knew that physically it was starting to really take something out of me. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to finish my half marathon. And I did. And it was very, very difficult, especially that last mile. And, um, and I decided I didn't want to do a formal race with other people because then I would be judging myself against them and all that stuff. Um, change that goal. And then immediately everybody's like, okay, well now you're going to do a marathon, right? 
And I was like, okay, well, now I guess I'm going to do marathon. I know how to, I know that I'm capable of doing it because if you can do that, you can do the other. Um, and so um, I started training to do a marathon. Now, first of all, one of the reasons why it was good for me to do the half marathon was because I was really, really, really getting bogged down um, with taking care of, of especially my mother and my son. And when I was running, I did not have my cell phone. They could not get a hold of me. And so there was like one goal achievement and two, the secondary thing, um, which I did not have when I was trying to do the marathon running. Um, and so I wasn't getting, you know, there wasn't a reason to do it other than just, well, here's a stupid goal. Um, I wasn't getting anything out of it. And again, running really long distances gets boring. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you're running for two hours straight and it's boring to me, it's boring. Um, so I stopped because the goal wasn't working for me. I had a new goal. Um, and that's when I started traveling. Um, and that's okay. And didn't, you know, I was kind of disappointed with myself that I did not go and do the extended goal. But I had reasons to not do it. And it was okay. And, and um, you know, I, and I, I didn't ever run a formal race. I never got a medal. I ran that number of miles in one stretch. I did it. Um, I did it there done gold gold met gold met not exactly what I thought it was going to be in the beginning um, but that's okay and um, and in in life lots of things are like that you know if you are like the goal is to get the dream job okay well no uh, that didn't happen for you so a goal is to get a job or a goal is to realize that you're your dream job is not what it was going to be like. I always wanted to be an architect. I thought it would be great. Do you know how boring architecture really is? Because it's not designing buildings. Most of the time what you're doing is getting clients call you back and say, hey, I want to change this type of window because it's cheaper. And then you go through all of the designs and all the math, the entire building, and make sure that it's still, you know, a safe building so you're redoing your work over and over and over and over and over again and over and over and over again I mean if they change the screw that they're getting for the building you've got to check every single place that they screw things in in the entire building to make sure that it's going to still be safe how boring is that? Um, so that goal changed. When I got more information, that goal changed. And that was okay. And you still... Okay. I'm going... I almost said the evil should word. I encourage you to celebrate. Even if you don't make your original goal. But you make a different goal. Because recognizing that changing of the goal um, is a good thing for you, that unto itself is, you know, it's good. I mean, and even if you're going to change a goal because you find yourself incapable of doing it, that's okay. Lots of other things to do in the world. Learning experience. It's good. Okay, I'm being a dead horse. And knocking the camera. Bye.